Hello Leo, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. Uh, we're going to look at what's going on in the connection and how you feel about each other. So let's jump right in to see what messages we have for Leo. For Leo. Sorry, messages please for the sign of Leo regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with what do we need to know what do we need to know for Leo what do we need to know regarding love all right Leo let's start with what's the mutual energy between you and this other person what's going on between Leo and this other person is fair. What are the energies between them? The magician. Okay, so at least one of you wants to make something happen in this connection, take some sort of action. I have the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So maybe you're manifesting an offer or this person is thinking about what offer they would like to make you. What else? What else we need to know about the energies between Leo and this person? Five of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting like someone that might be competing for your heart. Um, someone that might be thinking about an obstacle to this offer. I feel like in their mind, they would be successful. They would be able to overcome to be able to have their wish manifested here or the desire manifested with the sun. So I feel like there is already something here that your person is, this could be you, this could be your person, um, because both of your energies are here. But for some reason, I'm thinking it's whoever's manifesting or making something happen. It's like they see that there's an obstacle in front of them, but they're not going to let that stop them. Like I'm still going to get what I desire, what I want, even though I'm going to either have to fight other people for it or resolve some issues or deal with some conflict head on. That's not the one I want. Let's get some energy oracles for what's going on between Leo and this other person. Need to know about the energies here. Tell us more about these energies, Spirit. Tell us more about these energies. Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. So I feel like someone really, really wants something. They either really, really want you, Leo, or they're just kind of like, wow, I need to make this happen. I need to get my desire, my wish. And I, I picked that up with the magician. Oh, forgot to get that out of there. <laughs> That's like the about the uh, the deck card. What else? What else do we need to know? Judgment call. Decision, knowledge, logic. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason. So what this is telling me when I see these two together is not only is someone drawn to something motivated by something tempting tempted by something but they're also going to make logical decisions in order to get what they want they're going to use their logic not just this instinctive drive walking away departure journey movement Ooh, maybe that's part of this five of wands let's clarify that five of wands see what we get with that what do we need to know about this Five of Wands for Leo? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this Five of Wands? The Eight of Swords. Okay, can I get one more? Can I get one more, please? Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the, five of Wands? the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and then Death. Oh my goodness, Scorpio energy. I feel like something has to end here or has ended or someone's planning to end something here. Um, maybe that's some... Okay, so I feel like when I saw the Eight of Swords here with the Five of Wands, I thought someone's stuck in a mess. Someone is a bit overwhelmed by what's going on, by the conflict, by the obstacle here. Because the Five of Wands is like drama, interferences, things not working together. Um, not being able to see eye to eye, everybody like egos clash, all of that. And then when I see the Eight of Swords here, I'm thinking someone couldn't see a way out of this situation. So what do they do? They put their thinking hat on, King of Pentacles. 
This could be a situation that someone got themselves into because they were doing the right thing or they had obligations, familial obligations. This could be, you know, issues in a marriage or long-term commitment, whether this is with you or with someone else. But I feel like someone's, this King of Pentacles is like, okay, so something has to end or change. Things can't keep going the same way. I don't know if this was an ending between you and this person. I mean, I could have already happened in the in the past. Um, and if, but if that's the case, if this is, was an ending between you and this person in the past, I feel like this person is drawn, tempted, has a strong desire to fix this. Because at the end of this person's like, at the end of the rainbow for them is this sun. Success, happiness, joy, good news, etc., etc. So let's look at each of your energies. Leo, I'm going to look at your energy separately from theirs. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Leo's energy. What do we need to know about Leo's energies in this connection? What are their thoughts, feelings towards this individual, towards this connection? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like this is about taking time to resolve something, taking time to balance something, resolution, harmony, time needed for something. We have the Hierophant and the Lovers. Wow. Taurus and Gemini energy there. All major arcanas for you. So a couple of ways I can take this. Okay, I just, I wanted to look at where my fingers were splitting the deck here. Two, pentacle, two of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. I feel like this is a situation where you were, you probably are aware of whatever the situation is. Whatever this is that's going on, this five of wands, I think you're already aware of it. Like you already know what's going on there. I think in your mind, it's only time, um, only a matter of time before you get what you want, which is a partnership, a strong partnership, possibly even a commitment with someone, with a soulmate, someone you feel strongly with. I think, um, you know, I'm just getting that, that message of eventually, in time, this is what will happen. We will resolve the issues. We will have a partnership. Some of you with the Two of Pentacles, you're wondering if, um, like, maybe you're having a bit of doubt about whether this person will actually, this magician will actually manifest what they are desiring here. Um, I feel like this was someone that maybe already told you their plans and now they have to follow through and maybe you're having a little bit of doubt because time is passing or because you have to be patient and so the doubt creeps in, right? Tell me about Leo's energy. Tell me about Leo's energy. I'm getting that um, for the Leos that I'm talking to and this energy here, Someone's very loyal to another person. And I feel like also the, the reason why you're being patient is because you know that things are going to be resolved in the right way. So that takes time. There's almost like this energy of that too. Tell me about Leo's energy. Fairy Godmother, a wish granted and happy changes. What else? What else for Leo, please? Horse, action, motivation, energy. Yeah, so I feel like this is the magician together right here. Taking action to manifest a wish to grant, get a wish granted or create happy changes. Um, I feel like that this is what you, it's almost like you know that this is meant to be or that this is meant to happen, Leo. And so you're willing to be a bit patient here and wait for this action to take place. Bottom of the deck is, so this is love. So this is the miracle that I've been dreaming of. Happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment. So this is what you're hoping for. That at the end of it all, you will have satisfaction and fulfillment with your partner, with the person that you care about. And let me know if that resonates for you in the comments. Let's get a PS I love you for you. What else? What else for Leo? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? 
for the sign of Leo. I can't see myself with anyone else but you. Exactly. So Leo, in your mind, this is it. This is your person. And that's why you're willing to wait. That's why you're willing to be understanding or patient. Bottom of the deck is I'm going through a hard time. So this could be that this King of Pentacles here is dealing with this drama here that is possibly slowing them down. We'll see if that comes out in their energy. I get some insight, please, on this person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energy spirit? What do we need to know about their energy? This person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energy? The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So I think it's that King of Pentacles. What do we need to know about their energy? Knight of Cups. Okay. Can I get one more? Get one more, please. One more energy for this person. Seven of Cups. Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so that's probably why you're wondering about that Two of Pentacles that came up. This person has a choice to make, and you're wondering if they're going to choose you in the end. And I feel like it's because plans are plans. Actual judgment calls are different. You know, there are ideas, and then there are ideas that are carried out. You know, there are dreams and then there's, you know, fulfilled dreams. So there's a difference that you're thinking about, Leo, because I feel like this person has made you some sort of promise or has apologized for the holdup or something like that with this Knight of Cups. Maybe they've reassured you that they care about you. They love you. They're still in this, still committed. Um, but at the same time, it's like they have a lot going on. They have many choices presented to them, many ways that they could take this, you know, this whole situation. This Queen of Pentacles could be you, could be a symbol of you, the King and Queen of Pentacles, you know, a pair. And so they're thinking, let me bring this cup to my Queen of Pentacles here so that, you know, they don't lose faith in me. That's kind of what it feels like. Because this person's very stuck. Yeah. In a, yes, in a very difficult situation. The devil shows up here with the Three of Swords, Capricorn energy there. So this person, it hasn't been easy for them. Wow, your energy was right after that with strength. Let me see. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. I just want to get a little bit of clarity. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Yep, the Two of Swords. I feel like this person is going to apologize or reassure you because they have not made a decision. Yep, and there's the, the devil again that came out of the deck. Because it's been really tough. Tell me about this Seven of Cups. I think they have to walk away from something. Yep, there's a Three of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So they're in a, in a, they have a, there's some sort of interference here in the form of possibly a person. And they have not been able to pull the trigger yet. I think this is in the works. But maybe there are delays or extra obstacles, or maybe it's just harder than they thought. Leo, if you're dealing with a third party situation, let me know in the comments because that definitely fits here. Tell me about this person's energy towards Leo. Tall tail, fabrication, exaggeration, unreliable. Well, I don't like that energy. I won't lie to you. Tell me more. I feel like you're wondering, I don't know, maybe you're just, yeah, divine timing, okay, midnight, divine timing, countdown soon. I feel like things should have already been moving at this point, and they're not, and you're wondering why that is, what's the hold up, is this person playing me, is this just empty promises? I don't think it's this person's um, intentions, yeah, a new chapter with celebration. I think this is like the sun energy. They don't, they're not playing you deliberately. Let me just say it that way. That's not their intention. What's in their heart space towards Leo? 
what's in their heart space towards Leo. You have taught me so much. What else? We will be together again. Yeah, I feel like their intention is to be with you. I think what happened here is that they were very optimistic on taking care of the obstacle and it turned out to be harder than they thought it would be. Our connection is divinely guided. So I feel like this person is going to apologize for having to make you wait, but I think their intention is to walk away. I don't think that that's a tall tale. I think it seems that way because they haven't delivered. I think their intention is to be a magician, to get their wish granted, to take action. And it's like they're reassuring you that, yes, we will be together again. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed this you and them reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.